have regular bedrock nights in Dublin at the Red Box yeah. and at Brighton at the beach. Do you think it's important to actually have residences or do you like to tour the country with your night? Um, I mean, I think it's important, I mean, especially with Brighton, because I've had a long association with the south coast and I hadn't really done anything there for about two years. So it was nice to get back into somewhere local and start championing the sound again. And it's just myself and Danny Howes just do the whole night. Don't usually have guests, although uh, last week we had Danny Tanagla, you know, play a special five-hour set, which is, you know, amazing. Um, but on the whole, it's just Danny and myself just do the whole night, just trying to really push that sound forward. And it's, you know, it took a bit of time, but it's, you know, it's full house every week, every month now. And you know, things like Dublin, I think it's important to play over there. You know, I've always had a really good fan base in Ireland. Um, but I still really enjoy the travelling around, you know, the guest spots. How's your night bedrock doing at Heaven in London? It's really good. We're celebrating our first birthday party in uh, October and um, it's just gone from strength to strength. I mean, I think it's, you know, it's really rewarding to put on a night where, you know, we're not doing full page advertising. We're not, you know, we're not kind of trying to compete with super clubs, but we've gained the recognition of kind of like, uh, you know, really, you know, credible night.